More than 200,000 people die every year due to B-cell leukemias and lymphomas. Although in recent years immunotherapy has revolutionized the treatment of hematological malignancies, a number of patients still do not respond to these therapies or relapse after an initial response. Major drawbacks associated with current immunotherapy strategies include In the case of antibodies, the difficulty reaching the tumor and their short half-life and in the case of adoptive cell therapies, the poor amplification of the T-cell responses. We urgently need new immunotherapeutic approaches. That is why our team has developed a cancer immunotherapy strategy named STAP. First, we obtain cells from the patient's own blood. We modify them with viral vectors or mRNA to introduce in them the genetic information to produce a special type of antibody. One of its sites binds to T-cells the other binds to a molecule present in the tumor cells, so the T cells can find and destroy them. This is why they are known as bispecific antibodies. These cells secreting these antibodies are called STAB T cells, and we reinfuse them into the patient where they travel to the tumor and destroy it. This strategy has many advantages over other immunotherapy approaches. First, in contrast to exogenously administered antibodies, they can actively traffic to the tumor, where they secrete the antibodies. Second, these antibodies can recruit more T cells, thus amplifying the anti tumor response. Our team has obtained outstanding results using STAP T cells that produce a bispecific antibody against the CD3 molecule of T cells and the CD19 molecule expressed on B cell hematological tumors. We have shown that these STAP T19 efficiently control leukemia in mice. Moreover, unlike currently available treatments, STAP T19 cells also prevent relapse in relevant long-term in vivo models. These results show the efficacy of STAP strategy and open many opportunities. First, the development of clinical trials in patients with leukemias and lymphomas. But also, this technology can be further developed to create effective therapies for both hematological and solid tumors. If you want to learn more about this project or would like to know how to support this project and the new immunotherapies against cancer, you can contact us at the email address on the screen. Thanks for watching and see you soon!